brutally honest reasons he does not want a relationship with you even if he likes you i will see you after this Welcome back. My name is Chengi. I am your dating and a relationship expert. You're the founder of the Black Swan Relationship Academy right here where we teach you ladies how to present as a high value, high status and high worth woman that high value and high quality men find completely irresistible. Can I get an amen in the comment section? Let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to this class where we are going to be breaking down the reality of why and I want to keep it 100 with you ladies and give you some reasons. Why do you need reasons? Because understanding what reason makes it easier to fix. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the reasons a man does not want a relationship with you even when he likes you. Now that can be a bit confusing. If he likes me, why doesn't he want to have a relationship with me? So keep tuned, keep watching. We're going to break this down. He is emotionally unavailable. What this means is he's either in a relationship with someone else or he is still in love with someone else or he is just closed off and has some undealt with trauma but he is not available for a relationship. He may be available for an intimate encounter. He may be available for, um, you know, just filling that hole on the inside of him maybe where he just enjoys spending time with a woman and having some feminine energy, but he is not emotionally available for a relationship with you. So this is usually the key. Number two, there is a long distance factor. Some people, men and women, but in this case, some men just simply do not want to have a long distance relationship. Number one, they don't want to have to deal with the lack of contact, especially if it is an intimate relationship where you've been physically intimate. They don't want to necessarily deal with having to wait and be faithful when you're halfway across the world. Number one, and maybe they respect your feelings and don't want you to feel bad when they go and have that need met elsewhere. They just don't want the guilt that comes with feeling like they're cheating on you. And furthermore, they don't want the responsibility of you or them having to leave their country or you need to, or the burden of you leaving your country to be with them because that would be quite burdensome. And you know, the burden of him perhaps leaving his country. So at this point, you may have created a very strong bond, but at the end of the day, men will eventually lean into their rationale and their logic especially when they're younger because they still they choose with their minds they ultimately choose what makes sense you know so yes long distance relationships do work but it really takes a special kind of connection and he has to be absolutely willing to do what it takes to keep that connection alive number three his money is Funny. <laughs> he's his money is not as it should be he's not making enough money to feel like he can provide for you or a possible child because let's face it girls the moment we get married and start we want to start dreaming of having a baby and men know that that is not too far away if you want to get married you're going to want a wedding for most of us you're going to want a home and so he will be looking at his finances and that will be a determining factor as to whether or not he can commit to a relationship with you and of course a man can't always determine how much money he will make so he may be pulling away or saying he doesn't want a relationship because he really doesn't want you waiting on him uh so this could be a reason i like you very much but care about you enough to know that he's in no position to truly show up for you in the way that he would want to number four 
he has what he wants. He doesn't want a relationship with you because he pretty much has everything that comes with a relationship without the obligation. Maybe you've already started playing girlfriend and you have done it all without a title, without a conversation, certainly without a contract. And now you almost want him to pay for what he has used. Now, this is obviously a deeper conversation, and this is not just about physical intimacy. This is about really just over showing up without an understanding of what are we, what is this relationship, defining things and getting your contract signed. If that is not the case, then usually he's thinking, well, I have been fine. We've been fine. Why am I now required to actually put some commitment on the table? And so you know, this is this is something that is really important and why the dating playbook was developed so that we can set dynamics up that don't leave us hurt and wounded at the end of the day. The next one is that you are simply incompatible. I know that sometimes we think that men are obsessed with body and physical intimacy and, you know, taking advantage of, of, of a woman. But men also know and can see very clearly that you're not compatible with them. And that doesn't mean that he doesn't like you, but he can tell that long-term it's not gonna work. And they can also tell that you're the kind of girl who would probably get emotionally attached really quickly. So yes, he likes you, but he knows you're not compatible. Maybe he likes his women down and dirty. He likes his women to get nasty. And he can tell that you probably are not capable of those levels of nasty. Or he's a guy maybe who just wants something a little bit more you know, um, affluent or, you know, that bit more, more, or that bit less, less, you know, and he just knows that yeah, I like her, but at the end of the day, I cannot sustain or she will not ultimately please me. And I really don't want to waste her time because maybe she's a lovely girl. or I just don't want to waste her time or my time. So that's that. And I'm going to leave that for now. We're going to come back for four more points right after this. There are two types of women. One that positions herself to be a winner using a man's very own nature. We call that woman a black swan or a woman who is convinced that she can scream, shout and complain and change a man's nature. Now, if you are a black swan, I have decided to help you out. Ladies, I am offering you a free, yes, another free masterclass on the secrets of a man's mind. In this course, we're going to look at the things that men will never tell you, are afraid to tell you, don't even know they need to tell you. Assume you should know. We're gonna look at the man's brain, how he is wired, his heart, his spirit. How does he really think? What is going on in his mind when he meets you, marries you, dates you, courts you? We're gonna look through every aspect and you will be able to understand the secrets of a man's mind. And being a black swan, you will be able to use those secrets to create the love life you crave and deserve. If that sounds good to you, all you have to do is follow any of the links or wherever you see this video, and I will see you on the other side. Stressful situation. Sometimes your man has gone through a lot maybe he's just had a death in the family or lost everything you know especially the pandemic really did not help us um you know to 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 really kind of recover some people are still recovering from that some businesses are still recovering from that and so we have to really look at it and think okay maybe there's just a lot of stress right now and if he's stressed, he just doesn't have room to, to, to accommodate somebody. You know, we have to remember that relationships and courtships require a lot of emotional investment. And when you are stressed, you are incapable of giving the level of emotional investment that another person would want or need. Or he simply is afraid of responsibility and is not prepared to compromise. We have to face the fact that when a man gets into a relationship with a woman, he gives up his irresponsibility for responsibility. He has to now take on responsibility for somebody else. This is of course a masculine energy man 
feminine energy man would like for you obviously to take responsibility for him but we only talk about masculine healthy masculine men on this channel no we do not talk about narcissists we're talking about a healthy masculine man who genuinely is quite happy with his life and does not want to take on any responsibility maybe not right now maybe he's young or maybe he's just come out of a relationship or maybe he just isn't built for a long-term relationship and he just does not want the responsibility of for you or perhaps you and your children um it may be that and so it is what it is and he's entitled to his way uh, the next thing is he might have past trauma. He may have been wounded in some way, shape or form in a previous relationship in his childhood. And he just has a difficult time believing that he can be in a relationship where he will not be abandoned or abused or neglected or taken advantage of. And that trauma adaptation may have created this dismissive avoidant type that is, you know, distant and, and unwilling when it comes to that point of commitment to really, uh, you know, jump in there and get things done. So trauma plays a huge part um, in some men's lives, in all of our lives in one way, shape or form. Last but not least, he has shallow feelings for you. He likes you, but just not enough to move things to the next level. He likes you, but not enough to really, you know, go to war for you, declare his undying love for you. These are a few of the reasons. But here's what I want to say to you, my darling. Figuring out what the reason is is really important. And we can really only get the answer out of the horse's mouth. So it's so important that we master our ability to communicate and to listen to other people and observe and be in relationships in such a way that we're always taking note of how people and, and the people we're in relationships are moving emotionally, energetically, in all of their ways so that we can you know nip some of these things in the bud but also that we are vetting for these things we're looking out for the things that are gonna pop their ugly heads you know a month or two down the line these are why we use vetting and this is why I've created a dating playbook so go and get the dating enroll in the dating playbook masterclass I think there are like 30 videos on there where we break down every aspect of dating and relationships and you know these things also apply to women that are married or in relationships as well you know these are some of the reasons sometimes it's happening in reverse sometimes these reasons are showing up in a marriage maybe just wasn't ready for the responsibility maybe he just you know isn't capable of dealing with stress even though he's a married man and doesn't know how to be with you but we're here to help you at the black swan relationship academy my coaches and i are here to help you with your very specific situation and we we are just on the other side of the phone all you have to do is to go to the black swan relationship academy.com book a discovery call and we will talk through with you and help you out in your specific and very unique situation i look forward to seeing you on my next video and in the meantime do take care of you love you lots bye bye now